Now at 5.30, one police department in Orange County is getting a new look. The Anaheim Police Department plans to add Teslas to its fleet of patrol vehicles. Good evening. This is the KTLA 5 News at 5.30. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Rick Chambers in today for MICA. The department says it's facing a shortage of reliable vehicles and maintenance costs are adding up. And now the department is partnering with a local car manufacturer to debut this fleet of electric vehicles. KTLA's Orange County Bureau Chief Chip Yost joins us live from Anaheim with more. Chip. Yeah, hey there, Sharon, Rick. Yeah, right behind me, this is one of the new cars in the Anaheim Police Department fleet. Let me show you where we're at. We are here outside the Anaheim Police Department, and we're going to take a closer look. We're actually going to take a ride in this right now, but let's show you the outside first. This is one of the Anaheim Police Department's newest vehicles. It's a Tesla Model Y. Yeah, it seems a little unusual for a police car, right? Well, they said they had to get these cars out of necessity, really. They said they had some more traditional police cars on order, but because of supply chain issues, that they just didn't come in time. So they needed to find a solution. They think they found a solution. Let me show you one quick thing before we go on this ride. One big difference between this and some of the other cars you look in here, there's only room for one passenger if they're arrested. So if you get arrested with your buddy, well, you'll have two different cars. I'm gonna get in the car right now. This is Sergeant Jake Gallagher of the Anaheim Police Department. He is gonna take us for a little ride in this thing. But Jake, uh, before we get going, show, show us around a little bit. What's in here? Yeah, so this is uh, one of our new Model Y Tesla police cars. Uh, just very similar to the same Model Y that you would have at uh, home or that you could buy. Um, the only thing that we've done to it is kind of upgrade it with some of our uh, police equipment, uh, lights and siren, some new spotlight controls that are down here. Oh, so there's the spotlight right there. So it's just the tools so, so we can effectively do our jobs. Okay, take us for a quick ride now. We got a couple questions for you as we go. Um, one of the, the big questions we talked about a little bit ago is how will these things hold up in a police pursuit? Yeah, so that's one of the things that we're going to test um, as part of our pilot program is the ability for the vehicle to perform. With that being said, we've done our due diligence, and what we're going to do is ensure that there's a gasoline-powered vehicle in any pursuit involving one of our Tesla vehicles. Okay, and as far as cost, what's the difference between this and a traditional uh, gasoline-powered patrol car? Yeah, so there is a little bit of an increased cost, but over the life cycle, maintenance costs and, and uh what's the reaction been the public because they've got to be a kind of a do a double takes when you're driving down the street in this thing i would imagine yeah everybody's double taking uh, giving us a second look we uh obviously take them and, and charge them at the tesla superchargers and it's a great community engagement opportunity for us um everybody's coming up taking pictures i was charging a little bit earlier today and i probably took 10 or 12 pictures uh, with folks that uh, are other Tesla owners. Well, and that brings up another question as you're driving through here, we're on Harbor Boulevard right now. How much mileage can you get out of these things? Can you get through a whole patrol shift? Yeah, so if we were to max charge the car, it would be about uh, 300 miles. However, Tesla doesn't recommend we do that. So we're gonna charge the cars up to 80%. So that should give us about 260 miles of range. Our officers on average drive between 80 and 120 miles a day. So we're hoping that the battery will be able to sustain a 12 and a half hour patrol shift. Okay, as we look around here one last time, I'll send it back to you guys. We'll let you know they've bought six of these or they're getting six of these delivered. A couple of them will be uh, in patrol. You'll see them on the streets within the next couple of weeks. Uh, down here, there you see the radio. So they've got to do a little more squeezing, it looks like in here than your other cars, right? You'd have room for the shotguns and everything else. Just there, right? a little bit, yeah. So all of our equipment that fit in our, our traditional, traditional patrol cars also fit in here. Okay, and uh, guys, in case you want to see what it looks like, if you're going to get a ride in one of these uh, not voluntarily, uh, there's the look at the back there as we send it back to you. That's uh, this part here is where an uh, uh, inmate would sit or somebody in car or under arrest would sit anyway, and then this over here, I guess, would be like storage and that kind of thing. For now, reporting live here in Anaheim, inside one of Anaheim PD's new Teslas, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News. All right, thanks for the ride along, Chip. Uh, we'll see you a little bit later.